Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again Wrong with them, I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page to be someone else I would and let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious that I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance and guys, we've officially made it down to Irvine. This is in LA. I mean, it's, it's pretty close. To SSI performance is about 25 minutes away, but this is like pretty much the heart of Actually, I'm not even gonna say nothing. I don't really know, <laughs> but it's close to uh, Disneyland and uh, we're just visiting over here. We actually went to San Diego, which I didn't show in this video. Me and my girl were just chilling over there, just seeing San Diego. She's she's visiting from Canada, so I just have to show her San Diego. I'm showing her Irvine, then we're gonna be going to LA. A few little mini trips with her. Again, you guys should be seeing her in the home and everything in my personal life pretty soon. I just have to keep kind of some things kind of on the down low, but just for now. But yeah, meantime, we are unpacking. We're just getting situated here. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited because S is up performance right around the corner and I just absolutely love Irvine. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually came down here to Irvine. I flew out here with my dad to pick up the I-8 and absolutely loved Irvine. I've only visited LA before and then I realized that Irvine's amazing, San Diego's amazing, all of SoCal is just so amazing. I'll check back with you guys once we're actually ready to head over to SSR Performance. I'm pretty excited, finally getting the M4, the proper love, getting that crank hub done. It's gonna get a new oil pan gasket, new valve cover gasket, a bunch of gaskets replaced. Pretty much just gonna have zero oil leak, but we're pretty much doing all this preventative maintenance to where it's not even gonna have an oil leak till 100, maybe even 120,000 miles, which is absolutely amazing. Same time doing a crank hub to make sure this motor never blows. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. All right, guys, it's officially February 1st, and we are heading down to the first floor. I got my mask, do not worry. There's nobody around here right now, but let's head down to the first floor and let's head out, take the M4 to SSR Performance. This is gonna be kind of like a DIY, but not a DIY. I'm gonna try to make it somewhat exciting because I don't like just doing DIY videos on this channel. What's up, guys? This is the day. The today is the day we've been waiting for. It is February 1st. We're heading down to SSR Performance. We have an appointment at 9.30. I literally stay, I woke up at 6 a.m. editing the video. I just dropped it, which is a video that's going up for yesterday. today. And I'm going heading down to SSR Performance, and we're finally getting the crank hub done on this M4. This M4, um, according to Austin from Valvetronic, drives like a beauty, drives as if nothing ever happened to it. And that's how I want this car to always be like. And I don't want the crank hub ever spinning on this car, especially when we go track it. So we're doing the crank hub on this car. I believe it's a $3,500 to $4,000 job, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the price. I think it's about $3,500. Pretty sure they're gonna give you guys a discount for everyone that's watching my video so make sure you guys stay tuned and at the same time they're not just doing the crank hub they're upgrading the crank hub and on top of that they're doing pretty much all the other maintenance we're going to be doing an oil pan gasket which is one of the biggest failure points at every single bmw thankfully there's no oil leaks on this car right now but getting new gaskets to prevent an oil leak another 50,000 miles is a huge plus so we're getting a new oil pan gasket new valve cover gasket a whole bunch of other new seals and uh, this is going to make this car pretty bulletproof so i'm pretty excited for this without further ado let's head down to ssr performance Guys, we are pulling up to SSR Performance. I've only seen this place on YouTube, on Instagram. They're very well known on social media. But it's kind of crazy to come here because I know so many I know so many other YouTubers that come to SSR. They are just the place to go when it comes to getting everything done for your cars. I can already see, I think, a 1M, a Supra. You can already see the car lineups. I mean, they get exotic cars here all the time. Let's make sure 
We are good. All right, SSR auto body, SSR. Dang, these guys are huge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they have so many other cars. They have a, even a, like an M4 GT back there. Oh my God, guys, look at the car lineup. My Lord. M3 right over there. I gotta figure out where the heck I need to park. There's just so many cars here, guys. All right, guys, so we're finally here at SSR Performance. We have SSR Performance, I didn't know SSR had an SSR auto body as I showed you guys earlier in the video. And uh, the owner, which I always said, shut. Shay. Now I got corrected. Um, it's Shaw, my guy right here. What's up, man? So what's going on, bro? This guy, um, I ended up reaching out to him because I honestly, I couldn't find any mechanics in Sacramento anywhere at all that just knows how to work on BMWs. Yeah. Like, generally, we're kind of like know how to work on BMWs and uh, like crank hub job is probably one of the biggest jobs. I talked to Keys, they actually have the crank hub, your guys' crank hub yes, actually. Yeah, four pin crank hub. Um, yeah. Which is the best crank hub that you guys can put on your M4s or any, so is it any S M3s as well? S55 or N55, S55 or N55, yeah. N55, yeah. so uh, those crank hubs, I honestly, like I looked into it, I was gonna just get the part and do it myself, but I honestly watched the video 10 times <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, not the, it's not the quickest it's, job. It's really not. So I was like, you know what? Let me bring it down here. They've done like how many crank cars have you guys oh, done? Man, we probably hundreds, if not close to probably getting that thousand mark almost probably. <laughs> getting a bunch of them, man. And that doesn't include the ones that we ship out. Yeah, and all yeah. That good stuff too. No, so. I mean, I mean, Keys Motorsports. Like you guys know, I get all my stuff from Keys Motorsports, and they had their crank hub, yeah. which is the four pin crank hub. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? And it's worth making the trip out here, so that's why we're little. I drove literally like seven hours just to get here. <laughs> it's worth it, man. It's, it's worth, gonna be worth it. it. Yeah. And I, yeah. Like, I'm, like, think about it. Like, I drove seven hours. I'm have a hotel. I'm about to go rent a car, literally just to have my M4 taken care of. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> but it's yeah. definitely worth it though, because like this is the type of job that if someone actually messes it up, you, you end up blowing your motor anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I think I mentioned. Uh, I'm sure a lot of your viewers know Omar from Simply. Yeah. Companies. I mentioned to him. I was like. You gotta think about it like a heart surgeon, right? Would you rather go to a place that does that a surgeon that's done heart surgery like you know a hundred times? Or would you rather go to the guys that done? <laughs> Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah. This is obvious. Um, and at the end of the day, man, we're gonna get it done right, and we really appreciate you driving out, man. It really means a lot. It's definitely so, worth the drive, yeah, bro. Thank you, man. I'm excited, and I'm honestly very excited to show you guys his plate. Like, guys, this thing is huge. Like, bro, honestly, like, I, it, how old are you? 28, right? I'm 28. Just I'm like, dude, yeah. like, I don't. I, I just met this guy, and I'm super proud of him. Like, it's thank just like, you, and you're, 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 he's such a genuine person. Um, like, oh my god, seeing all this is just goals one day. I see literally an Ari back there. I don't know if you guys know, but I, Ari, it's been my dream car for the longest time um we're supercharging it supercharging it yeah 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 we're supercharging <laughs> Yeah, this is just goals out here. Yeah. Um, so just a quick little overview. So like these, like I said earlier, they have an auto body. You have a wrap shop as well. Yeah, yeah. So we do everything in-house. Um, wrapped, uh, obviously we just opened this auto body division. We just actually bought this building next door. We got really lucky it was available. Um, so we do full collision repairs. So essentially the next car you get, if you need help, you know, with the frame, this, that, pulling, pu pushing, whatever you need. Oh, all perfect. From paint to uh, just basic repairs. We do it all here in house now, man. Yeah. Perfect, and then that's this this building. Yeah, just that building. This building in terms of, like what happens if you just want to, your car is completely stock, what yeah. can you do here? Yeah, man, from stock all the way to a thousand horsepower, we did everything, man. We we uh, will do your oil changes, your brakes, all the way up to full thousand horsepower engine builds and upgraded turbos. Uh, we can do custom fabrication for very, very custom projects. We don't do like uh, exo custom exhaust here per se, but if it's like, hey, like you need a, three and a half inch titanium exhaust because you're running some single turbo setup, yeah. things like that. We'll definitely uh, do that kind of work here as well. We have a full dyno actually in-house, which actually surprises me because a lot of the times people show up here and they're like, wait, what, your dyno's actually here? Like they see yeah. the dyno, they see a car on the dyno, they hear it. They're like, oh wait, I didn't know it was actually here. Like, yeah, our dyno I'm actually here, very excited to see that. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, I was. I wish you were here last week. I, I just showed you those videos. Yeah, yeah. You had so many crazy cars. Yeah, yeah. So oh man. We might get a car on the dyno, and we'll hopefully get to show that on video as well. Okay. Um, but you know, from uh, dyno to all the work that we do, it all gets done in house, including our engine builds and whatnot. Um, and that's about it, man. Like from zero to 100, we do it all when it comes and, to performance. And, and they really it. specialize, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they really specialize in BMWs, German cars, exotic cars. So, I mean, like, that's why this is like the place that I was like, if I'm getting anything done, you see like BMWs are just coming here left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are getting crazier right now. People yeah. People are actually pulling up around 10, so. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. All right, so obviously this is our front desk here. Um, on any given day, you'll see someone helping, you know, all the front customers walk in, get signed up. And what's your name, brother? 
Carlos. 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 Yeah, JC. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this is this is my this is our buddy Nior. What's going on, bro? Yeah. <laughs> so you can see Carlos is filling out all the paperwork, making sure that we get all the notes that we need to on his car, so that we can make sure that we fix it right. Any of his comments, concerns, we you know we get that written down so the technician sees that. Um, right here we have our waiting room. And as you can see, we got some magazines, we got some nice. Sofa. And you got my video. Hey, hey, look at this guy. We're out here saving hey, that 7 hey, series. Hey, you just gotta do the crank up too. <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> so we got coffee for our customers, uh, we got drinks, we got water in here. Intakes, you know, yeah. it's, it is a performance shop, guys. Yeah, it got in, some intakes next to water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then here we got like our media room. As you can see, we got all the decals, all the stuff that goes in the cars. The front windshield decals, we got shirts up there. Cleaning supplies to make sure that when the customer cars leaves, you know, we can wipe them down, make sure they're clean. All the proper stuff. Uh, I'm going to plug my boy in right now, Adam, Adam Polishes. We got uh, all their products on deck to make sure that, you know, using clean microfibers and making sure that customer cars leave clean. Uh, all right, so coming around this side, we got like the, the offices for our operations and sales. We got Mark right here. I don't know if you met Mark. Is it Newark? Oh, what's going on, bro? Uh, YouTube, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I like the jacket, bro. Appreciate it, bro. And of course, we got the... You got the turb skis just chilling. Oh you know? man. That's our performance intakes, filters. For what the an uh, office, bro. <laughs> what, are we, what are we getting done? Uh, the crank up. Ah, uh, yeah. Go big or go yeah. home, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, you want to have fun with your car? You're done, man. Yeah, exactly. Mind, you know? No, definitely. Mind. Definitely with the peace of mind. No horror stories here, man. No horror stories. And of course, with the S55, for those of you watching that might have an M3, M4. We do have our own intakes, charge pipes, uh, we have the down pipe for that car, and of course we do the boot mode tunes here at SSR, so everything from ground up stock to like fully doing the thousand horsepower bills, we do it all in house. Coming on to this side, this is my desk right here, um, and of course uh, Zane, my business partner, sits on this side. As you can see, he does a lot more work than I do. <laughs> you can see Very work. clean. I just come hang out, man. You know, no work to be Bro, done. that's a business on. I mean, <laughs> that's just goals. <laughs> Anywho. Of course, we got Jack here. He's, he's handling his on the phone, actually. Um, but he does all the auto body work. Uh, he's pretty much manages the auto body side to make sure that our customers always have all the attention that they need and make sure that the answers, uh, questions get answered. This is where you start getting a little bit busier, you can see. This is pretty much our shipping room. Um, the downpipes I was just talking about, the M3, M4 downpipes. Yeah, yeah. Got them here, ready to go. Uh, wheel spacers, uh, so for the F-Series guys, any F-Series and actually G-Series as well now, um, we have 10, 15, 12 millimeter spacers and those can all be uh, ordered on our website as well. They're available for purchase. These are actually our intakes right here. S55 intakes, this is a small pipe. Um, so as you can see, this is all made here, here, by the way, in California, SoCal. None of this is like China parts or anything like that. Um, the C63 down pipes, we got these ready on deck, ready to go. Cool, cool. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess, but this is all our packaging material. So pretty much we make sure that we use bubble wrap and, and all that good stuff to make sure it's all packaged it's well. Yeah. Right on. Ah oh, man. <laughs> this thing, this place looks like heaven. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, guys, that is that is that is the real deal right here. This ain't no like small dyno. <laughs> yeah, this is a MD150 Mustang dyno, so it is definitely a heartbreaker dyno. But uh, it's best for load-based tuning. It has the eddy there that actually applies load to the car, so it, as if the car is actually driving on the road compared to like just rollers on like a dyno jet. Um, if you want like numbers to like post up on your Instagram and like all that stuff, yeah. obviously this is not the best dyno for that. This is gonna show a little bit lower, but this is a real true test of, of uh, how much power your car makes. Um, of course, the biggest thing that we tell people is like the delta is 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 the biggest uh, uh, is the number one thing you want to look at, right? You want to look at the difference between before and after horsepower, and that's what we get to do here on these dyno. But yeah, um, hopefully we get to see it in action later. Definitely, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So this is where the magic really happens. <laughs> As you can see, we already got Oh, that's my car. <laughs> I was gonna say, this looks like my car. <laughs> oh, wow, it's already in here. We're getting started. We have quite a few. I think we have the GTS here. We have the GTS up on that rack right there. Uh, we got this M4 here. We got your M4 here. 246 M3. 392, 335 I, I believe. And another E92. 335. Your 335 and M cars. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, what is that? Is that an M3? Or what is that? I think a 335. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was actually sick. I need to show you. Bro, that, that looks so yeah. good. I don't know if you guys can see. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Is that GTS Lime Rocks GTS or no? Lime Rock? Uh, you know Lime Rock? 
No, no, it's not. It's not. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't, I haven't it's seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen his uh, GTS in person yet. Yeah, yeah. So I actually have some intakes and charge pads being made for that in acid orange. Oh, yeah, right on. That's color. perfect. Yeah, yeah. For for Kevin's. So yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, look at the little, there's like so many BMWs back here. I wish I could just take a couple of these ones home, rebuild it for you guys. <laughs> this, is, this is like my heaven right here. But there's this beautiful, I mean, this is an individual color? Yeah. I only thought, I've only seen the Atlantis blue individual. I've never, oh my God, that interior. Is that a stock interior? Stock, yeah. This is one of the, this is one of like, I can't even remember. It's fashion gray. Fashion gray? I'm pretty sure that this is the fashion gray. Oh my God, guys, look at this interior. What the, I've never seen this. Yeah. It's very unique. I, I can't remember. The owner had a bunch of information on it. He's like, oh, it's like one of this. And it was just, I think it was like the second fashion grade they ever made, BMW ever made or something like that. Wow, that is just gorgeous. <laughs> guys, and I don't know if you guys knew, but this was the color I was looking for when I was looking for an M4 or an M3. I was actually going for an F80 M3. This is, I just love this color to death. This is the yeah. Yasmarina Blue. Just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot believe this is a stock color and mass produced. Like, and I still think these are kind of rare. But here in SoCal, you'll see them more often. Oh really? Like maybe in, in Sacramento you won't see them. Yeah, like I, I rarely see this. Yeah, here here you'll see them. Um, I think just as much as like the other colors. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my, I should have bought one out here. Yeah. <laughs> but I absolutely love this. Anyway, just a side note, this color is absolutely gorgeous. So just out of curiosity, you have so many cars here. How long have they been here? Um, dude, actually we we go through cars quick, man. We do about eight to ten cars in and out a day. Yeah, eight to ten a day. So how long ago did these just come um, in? So the collision ones are completely separate. That's on the okay. body side. Okay. Obviously, you can see this car is complete. This is. <laughs> Car, this, this, this will take me a, this will take me about a month to honestly get together yeah, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay yeah these ones in turn yeah, yeah these ones going so, in so these ones are just um dailies like this one probably came in on friday today's monday so today we're gonna probably get uh, the suspension done and just get it knocked out and get out of here um, perfect that yasmina blue one probably doing something else on it that just showed up a few days ago so cool, cool. it's usually like the only time cars will actually come here and sit is if we're waiting on parts or if we're diagnosing and waiting for the customer to kind of get back to us with what they want to do with it. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. like, let's just say a car comes in and has some sort of, you know, like, let's just say a crank up issue and it happens to, like, have a, uh, a bent valve or something. Obviously, the customer needs to make a decision. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, am I willing to spend, like, 15, 16 And I did not want to make that decision. Yeah, so I was like, exactly. let me just get this yeah, preventative yeah, maintenance it. done. Yeah, it's like insurance, man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Pay it up front and, and you'll know that you have the peace of mind. And on top of that, guess what? If you do blow your engine and it's because of the crank up, guess who gets to pay for it? I do. Because we warranty every single car that comes through here with a crank up or install that's done here at SSR Performance. Obviously, other people's install we cannot guarantee because we're not doing it. Yeah. But our own install with our crank up, we warranty that engine for 10,000 miles, or one year, 10,000 miles. You go beat the crap out of it on the track. <laughs> for any reason that crank up does happen to fail, um, we take care of it all um, in terms of like, we will literally replace your engine if it's because of the crank up failure. That, By the way, that I've piece never, of mind's perfect. Never had a crank up fail ever before. 100% success and rate. And he's done hundreds. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. That, that peace of mind is well worth it. Yeah, yeah. Not just 800, but closer to probably getting to like the thousands. So. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And this is what took my, I, I know he's got a lot of BMWs. This is my world, guys. But I saw this IA from a mile away. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. So what is what is this getting done exactly? So this one's actually getting the VF800 supercharger from VF Engineering. Um, the owner of VF, Nick, is actually a really good friend of mine. Uh, we do a bunch of these. I'm actually doing this one as well as the same engine in the Huracan. And I know you're thinking about going. Yeah. To, um, so this one and another Huracan, we're doing two VF800 superchargers, um, probably at the same time, actually. Next wow. Week. So how much will this push after a supercharger? Um, so it's 800 to the crank, probably closer to like 650 or so to the wheel. Wow. Uh, the Dynajet, yeah. That's going to be quick. And uh, something just to note, he said soon. Uh, Huracan one day. <laughs> one day, one day. Soon, <laughs> one, soon. <laughs> Fingers crossed soon. You never know what can happen in life. Life is crazy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, this is one of those dream cars that I want or the Huracan. One of the two cars that like when, when it comes time to upgrade, it's one of those two cars that I'm looking at. All right, and Shaw mentioned that he just got this building. This is the SSR Auto Body. So this you got this yeah. about like how long ago? Uh, just a month ago. Just a month ago. Yeah, we got okay. Yeah, so it's actually empty right now. Obviously, well, it has cars in it. <laughs> Yeah. He has so many cars right now, but um, we are actually on the way. We have a uh, full paint booth with a paint room along with a uh, frame machine, alignment rack. So this building will be filled in with the next probably another month or so. Another month? Fully filled in, yeah. Right now, you're pretty much seeing it empty. Um, but uh, as you can see, we got our guys in there, um, you know, doing the repairs and doing what they can without the equipment. 
Um, until we have all our own equipment, we actually just outsource the paint. But starting next month, finally, I'm everything really will be in house. Everything will be officially in house. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, now let's see what kind of car is in here, real quick. So I see a 335 S2000, 335. What is that over there? That, that's a secret project. Uh, actually, <laughs> oh, the Huracan, okay. And it actually is supercharged too. If you have supercharger, and that's not the one I was okay. talking about. Okay. Those are, those are two other cars. I can't even to... recognize yeah. that. Oh um, my. Extra secret, but you guys, if you guys keep track of our social media, Instagram, um, SSR Performance. It's going to be linked down below, guys, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you guys are going to want to see what we end up with on that car. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I can't. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a hood over there. Is that for that car? Okay, okay. That's all I'm seeing. That's all I'm giving you guys right now. We got another, it looks like a 435? Yeah, 435. 435. And then this is, what kind of Porsche is this? This is a Porsche Turbo S actually. We just finished it. It was on the dyno last week. Um, it makes some good power. Stage two SSR package, uh, custom tune and everything done in house. And then we got a Ferrari just casually <laughs> chilling here, bro. <laughs> a G Wagon. <laughs> you guys can just see the cars that come around here. This is why I brought my car here. Collision repair. And this isn't here for auto body work. This is. This one is not here for auto body work. It's just being stored inside since it's raining these days. Yeah, no, but I just I admire the fact that you guys actually yeah. cover it. Oh, like, I hate it when I get my cars in the, like shops and they have like a bunch of dirt and all that stuff between yeah, the little. Yeah, exactly. Dude, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's. Yeah, Regardless of whether it's a, a Porsche, a Ferrari, or a Honda, it doesn't matter, man. We take care of all our customers' cars the same. Perfect. Always. And going on to the interior? Yeah. Uh, the interior, the, the yeah. inside of the place? Yeah, so this is eventually going to be like the lobby and the, uh, we, we just set all this up. So the lobby, the office, another office there. Guys, this is goals. This yeah. is so nice. Oh, yes, you know you have to put that up. <laughs> that is the main thing. Bro, that, that just looks so sick. Uh, I need a decal, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you got you, you got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man. So then over here we have like the... Bro, I would honestly, if, I, if this is a place where I work, I would find one of these rooms and sleep in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, see man. me right here at the beautiful it's view. Right <laughs> oh, oh man. man. This is gonna be the park room. So actually, the, all the, the whole inside I just showed you, Yeah. it really looked like this. Like you can see, it's, it's just... So you replaced the flooring, you painted the walls, walls. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so this is, we didn't change this because it's still working storage. on it. Oh, okay. We're, yeah, we're just going to pack this with parts. So okay, yeah, so you actually don't want hard floors, it's going to get all beat it's gonna up. It's going to get beat up, Okay, exactly. right on. So that, that's what it used to look like, and we turn it into, into this. Let's go check out your car, man. Back into, hey, it's my M4, hello. <laughs> so we got Pastor here, man. Okay, that's what's up. He's gonna be knocking out the crank of the car, and as you can see, we always use protection. Always, always. Thank God, I just literally got this covered up. Fresh new paint, shout out to you guys. So yeah, man, so he's actually start, starting to take it all apart. So what we'll do is we'll actually go grab a crank up and a stock okay. crank up and kind of talk about like, you know, the difference between those yeah, two. Yeah, I honestly still don't completely understand yeah, yet. Yeah. So it's I'm gonna it's, it's a little bit of a learning experience for me as well. Yeah, so we'll talk about that and, um, and we'll bring you back here for him to pretty much install into your car, man. Perfect. Yeah, as I snuck away from Shaw for a second here just to admire this place. Like, this is such goals. I wish I, I one day, guys, I'll have a shop, have all the cars, maybe even host the car beat. Just chill right here, watch our videos, play some games. This is like such a cool chill room i love it all right guys and this is the reason why we traveled so far <laughs> um uh, this this is the thing apparently that fails which is called the crank up honestly i was looking into it and oh that's how it's supposed to be yeah. i was playing around too much with that yeah, yeah. um I honestly, at first, I, I, I didn't even understand what this really, I, actually, I still don't really understand what this thing does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. just looks weird. I don't really know where it does. I know it, it, it is on uh, the main crank hub, you know, like it, it is driven by a belt, right? Um, it's, it's gonna be by chains. Oh, by the chains. Yeah, so oh, okay, which is why this yeah. is all here. Yeah. Um, so if you can, just just break this down yeah. for me because I'm sure everyone else has questions on this. Yeah, actually, I get this question a lot, man, so it's good that we were going over it. So this is the original stock uh, crank up. This one actually came out of one of the M3s and M4s that we just did recently. Um, and essentially what happens is it's held into the crankshaft itself with these, uh, with this crank bolt right here, right? And the only uh, force that actually keeps these from spinning uh, independently is uh, static friction. So what you, what's happening is this bolt is supposed to be in theory so uh, holding this so tightly together that it won't ever allow it to spin. That's how BMW originally designed ah, it. Ah, okay. The use of friction um, washers or friction discs, if you want to call them, 
um, between each one to pretty much that will allow these to, to hold. You know? Yeah. Almost imagine like almost like sandpaper. You know how sandpaper, you put your hand on it, you can't really move. Yeah, yeah it's, right? like, it's just grip. It creates friction. It's grip, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Great, great uh, way to describe it. So the issue is this. Um, with the way the transmission works with the engine and the way the forces are actually on this piece, on these pieces here, yeah. um, sometimes, uh, just even on stock cars or, or even more so on modified cars, with more power than stock, uh, what ends up happening is the breakaway point of that static friction is exceeded and any time the breakaway point of any static friction is exceeded by the tangential forces on this piece, uh, what's going to happen is this is going to spin independently. Why is that an issue? So pretty much this, the crankshaft obviously is supposed to always be in sync with the camshafts, right? The engine yeah. and exhaust camshafts. Now, the, exhaust, the camshafts themselves control the valves coming in and out of the cylinder itself, right? Yeah. So what you don't want is those camshafts to ever be out of sync from the crankshaft itself, um, or else what's gonna happen is in an air interference engine, you have the risk or the chance of the piston actually hitting the valve if it becomes out of sync, right? Yeah. Because the whole point is when the, the piston's at top dead center, where are the valves? They're closed, right? Yeah. So um, what you want is you, you want to make sure that this never spins. Now, if this happens to spin out of sync because all that torque hit all of a sudden at once and the tangential force exceeded the breakaway point of the static friction, um, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to be completely out, completely out of sync from the crankshaft, um, which is a whole reason why you never want this spinning, right? So, so does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm trying to understand sure. why. So this spins so easy. So I feel like this could happen like, like, easily, right? right? Like, yeah. Well, right now it's easy because obviously this isn't but forced up with against the yeah, crankshaft. Yeah. But but why the, would they make this in two pieces in the first place? They're, they're that's what people are confused about. There's no real reason. I'm not sure what the reason was. Uh, I think it might have been for serviceability, possibly. Okay. Um, that it's easier to replace if something goes wrong, and whatnot. Um, I see. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but that's a question for probably like a, a high-level BMW engineer, obviously. Right? Yeah, like, it doesn't make much sense right to me why they did that like that in the first place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's the issue with this. Do you understand? Does that? Yeah, make yeah sense? no, it's I'm making sure sense. It yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it was good. Okay. Cool. So, what we end up replacing it with instead is this piece right here. So this is our SSR Performance four pin crank hub, um, and of course this was originally the the Max PSI design, um, and we we ended up working with the facility that actually manufactures this, and we actually ended up making it a little bit better. So it, originally you used to have two pins. We found that with the four pins is a lot stronger, as well as we also increased the tolerances. So actually, if I, you see how tight that yeah, was? Yeah, that was really it tight. It was it wasn't like that before. So we actually made it very tight so that. When you push it, you have to actually force it in, force there. It in there. And okay. as you can see, there's absolutely no Yeah, like no even slack. there's like the, the the tabs or whatever, like yeah. there's no way that can get out sync. Like yeah. that, that is yeah. a permanent fix right there. Correct. So we have four keys, four pins. Um, so it, it, we upgraded it from the original two pins and, and two keys that it used to have. Um, and again, as I mentioned earlier while we were talking, um, we've never ever had one of the four pin designs ever fail, ever. Perfect. Um, so how do we fix the problem? First things first, instead of having three pieces, which the original design has three pieces, we turned it to two, right? Then what we did next was we locked in, so we made this sprocket a part of the this uh, this larger mass here, and then we locked the second sprocket for the oil pump in here, right? So now you have two pieces and they're locked into each other. So as you can see, this one can't spin and this one can't spin. And then finally what we did was we added four pins on the side of the crankshaft in which we have to now drill four little tiny holes into the crankshaft itself so that these uh, four pins can actually insert into the crankshaft itself. So now you have it locked into the crankshaft, you have this gear locked into the camshaft gear, and then you have the crank hub itself actually being pushed up against with the same exact torque spec um, into the crankshaft so you have absolutely zero chance of any of these pieces independently spinning from one another and that was our goal with this with this uh upgraded crankshaft uh this upgraded crank of design that we created all right guys so i got some time to myself and uh they really know what they're doing here they're doing they're actually doing another m4 right next to me another crank hub <laughs> they do this job so many times per day um so i'm super happy i brought it here and just again this is not something you guys want to diy there's so many things i tell you guys to diy on this channel because it makes this car more affordable but in terms of the single job it's worth taking care of the shop they even do your valve cover and your oil pan it's all the same like it's all part of the process 
process. So you're getting pretty much all your maintenance done, including an oil change and all that good stuff. So it's just, it's just kind of worth getting it all done. He's actually gonna do a full breakdown of what he's gonna exactly do. So I'd let him go ahead and tell you guys that part, and then I'll show you guys probably a time lapse of him doing it all, because I mean, I'm not gonna show it in a way that you guys are gonna be doing it yourselves, because you guys are just gonna probably bring it to a shop, and I recommend SSR. Again, later in this video, I'll give you guys a little discount uh, code, so you guys, when you come here, you can get a good discount on your crank hub or any other job you guys wanna get done here. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back with the M4. I'm here with my guy. What's uh Pastor. Pastor. Okay, cool, cool. So I know really nothing about uh the full breakdown. So if you can actually go over and just let us know what exactly are you actually removing, what are you replacing, like what is actually getting done in the full process of the the, the crank cup because I know a lot of it's done. I think just to, I, I thought it was actually pretty easy to access, but it looks like you actually have to do a lot of work. Yeah, so we have to pretty much take everything apart for the reason that we have to check timing, make sure everything's straight before we even do it, like a complete teardown. Once okay. we confirm that your timing is good, okay. Or, you know, we have to make sure that we don't have bent valves because these crank hubs spin yeah. and they're very instrumental for spinning. Um, so we take off the intakes, we take off the valve covers, we take off the, the charge pipes, we take off all the braces, the carbon fiber brace in the, in the oh the yeah, there's in the back. Something back here earlier. Yeah, so once we once we get to that point, we start taking off the covers. We we do all the electrical, which is um, the injectors and your coils. So everything gets out of the way, which is right there. Ah. Once we get to that point, we can see, um, you know, where our timing's at. Um, we set timing to TDC, making sure everything's uh, like top dead center. Uh, sometimes when they do arrive, they are, they arrived already spun. So we have to see if the valves are bent or anything like that. Okay, so. and the one behind you, is that one an example of one that already spun? Uh, yes, another one that the customer brought from out of state. Uh, they delivered it to us for the same reason that I uh, have a spun crank. You see, I don't want my engine out of the car. <laughs> That's why we're getting this done now. It's, it's a safe bet to do this instead of that. That's yeah, and I'm sure this costs a lot more than this, right? Yeah, it's the worst case scenario. Yeah. Yeah, so it's worth getting that preventive maintenance done first. 100%. So at this point, um, we already took the fender wheels off because we need to get access to the to the bottom frame, to the subframe. Okay. Um, and there's some bolts behind that. So um, at that point, we take the fender wheels off, and then we start getting ready to take off the the rack and pinion. Um, we already locked the steering wheel. That will make sure that we don't lose um, our center. For the clock spring, right? Yeah. For so okay. We have to make sure we're, we don't lose that um, when we remove the. That's perfect. Yeah. At that point, um, we we get to the fan trial. The fan trial comes out, and then we have access to what would be our belts, okay. um, our tensioners, and at that point we drop the um, the oil pan, and then we have access to the crank up finally. So, okay. Um, if you stay tuned. You're going to see the whole process being done shortly. Okay, in terms of the oil pan, because I genuinely do not want, like why do you have to remove the oil pan exactly? So the way we do our crank cubs is we make sure we remove the oil pan for the reason that we want to make sure we have zero shards of metal after we finish drilling the crank cub. Ah, okay, okay. Um, there's other companies that do it without it, but we want to make sure that we have 100%, we clean everything out before we put everything back together. That makes so sense. we take that extra step to make sure that we, you know, it's safe to, to uh, operate after, you know, we finish doing the crank up. Okay, perfect. And uh, something else we noticed uh, while we were down here is that for some reason, I don't know if this is my, uh, this is the coolant pump, I don't know what this is, but it's leaking coolant. So um, that's probably why we had a coolant light earlier, guys, and I just topped it off with coolant. and I thought everything was gravy in the Navy, but uh, <laughs> it looks like we actually have a problem here, uh, which we'll, I guess we'll find out later. Yeah, well, we're gonna hunt it down, we'll address it, and then make sure we, you know, you get 100%. Cool, cool. So things that are exciting, uh, new crank hub, upgraded crank hub. We're gonna get a new oil pan gasket, new valve cover gasket. What else is getting changed? And I know oil definitely, right? Yeah, so we do an oil change in the whole process. We clean the whole um, oil pan. We put a new oil pan gasket, brand new oil pan bolts. The crank hub, the, the actual um, assembly gets new bolts on, onto the crank. Cool, cool. Um, so we make sure we, we put everything brand new. We don't want any surprises. You know? No, that's per it's like I'm getting all my maintenance done at the same time. It's like an all-in-one combo deal. Yeah, we make, it's just insurance. Make sure you get everything brand new. That way there's no problems in any way, shape, or form. All right, that's perfect. Start 
hard to fight Never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant Now we should talk about with us How come we're holding on Cause really I don't see the benefits Now when you're broken my trust So I just wonder Why do I fall back to you Really nothing I can do about it Why do I fall back to you It's like you're a drug to me I can't quit it's not like we're still 22 Trying something new just to pass time I don't think that we ever could work this out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I still fall back to you? Then we get the idler off and then um we start drilling <laughs> yeah, start taking off the crank club and then uh, we'll start drilling cool cool and so we're literally almost there yeah we're not too far out now cool cool so at this point we have the old uh, crank club on uh, we're gonna get ready to set our timing tools and then uh, we'll be taking it out shortly So right now we're gonna we're setting timing one last time before we pull the crank up. That way it can hold the like the cam shafts in place because the um, the phasers are gonna come out. Yeah. Uh, along with the timing chain guide and the chain actually have to come up. That way I have room in the bottom to work with right, where I can drill. And okay. I don't have none of this in my way. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you the hub and the gear one fell down and the other one's still, still in the there but um at this point this is your infamous this is the one that's a garbage right <laughs> Oh man. So at this point guys, he's gonna go ahead and just remove a few more things and just get everything ready before he starts drilling. Uh, the new crank hub, it's not like an OEM one like 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 Shaw showed you guys earlier. That is a completely different one that will never ever, from according to them, has never actually failed, never been brought back to them, which is great. So um, that's what we ended up replacing with. If you guys put another OEM one, it's gonna, it, it, it's, it's just bad, you know?
Yeah, Another thing that gets replaced, guys, is the front crank seal, uh, which go no, this one or no, no, one both of them. Right oh, here. this one, right around the crank cover, right? Yeah. So we we remove it because it, we need that space so we can actually uh, drill properly uh, straight. So it comes out of the way, and plus you want to put a new one since you're already in there. Yeah. Why not? More maintenance the better. <laughs> And that, boys, is the new crank hub. Is that the two-piece, right? Nope, it's four. Yeah, it's a two-piece. Uh, Keep piece. it in there, you don't have to take it apart. <laughs> but okay. It locks in, that way everything stays put. It's no longer pressed, it's requiring. So we have four pins that we're gonna drill out. We're gonna drill it. So these bad boys lock into the crank, that way it doesn't move anymore. Perfect. All right, guys, so something you just explained to me, it makes a whole lot more sense now how to install it. I was always thinking, how do you drill? How do you wing it? Or what, like, what do you do exactly? Apparently, the kit, the SSR kit, actually comes with this tool and this bolt, right? Yeah, so this this actually gets screwed into the crank hub. Yeah. The actual crank, I'm sorry. And then you get a supply drill bit, and it's going to go in there, and it's going to guide you to get them perfectly to... To match up with that basically. Correct. correct. No, that's so. perfect. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay. Always think of you when spring comes. Like it's something in the air at the time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. Met you on a Friday. Halfway up. How it's gonna go in so at this point we press it in yeah and then we're we're gonna do a test fit and then if everything clears out everything's nice and smooth nice and like tight snug yeah then we start uh, assembling everything back together cool cool the timing you know go through the whole process of putting the fluid set timing put everything back and then um, that's the crank up right there uh easier said than done he made it sound like <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me just looking at him. I'm getting tired just looking at him. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing, bro. <laughs> Alright, guys. At this point, he's just test fitting it. So he's just screwing in the bolt to just kind of pressure it in there. You can see it kind of going in. It's a nice and smooth. It's not, it's not tight. So, you know, you your, your holes are nice and straight. Looking good. I think the point of that, all of it that you guys just saw, was just the fact to show you guys how much work is needed to put all this together uh, i'm obviously not going to be showing how to put it all back together but just know that it, this is a big big job and if you guys are thinking about doing it i would take it to ssr let them do it again they've done so many other cars before and that's literally why i came all the way out here to get mines done so right now i'm gonna let him take his time and put everything back together he finished the test fitting everything looks really good i'm super excited about that i know i'm hungry i know he's hungry i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him he needs to take a little food break so uh, shout out to him but he doesn't need to keep working right now and then i gotta go take to shaw before we actually head out here. Guys, I'm heading out for the day, but check these out. This is an individual. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Alright guys, so we just got here to SSR Performance, and this is just a casual 720, an F-Type, and an M3. I mean, look at the cars they work on. Anyhow, let's go ahead and talk to Shaw real quick and just see if the M4 is ready. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm excited to get the car back. Oh, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Two bro, days, right? Two, two that's days. quick, bro. Honestly, that was quick. Check it out. Yeah, actually, we would have had it done for you tomorrow, uh, lot, yesterday, but that coolant hose that was leaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Leak now. Um, obviously, we talked about the the charger cooler. Yeah. Place that you said you have one coming in. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So again, so this job would have possibly took so how much on, on average would this job take? 
Um, takes about like I'd say for any two, shop that yeah, three, 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 I'd say three four days. Three four of days, labor. Okay. yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure, for yeah. sure. He was rushing it for me, so shout out to him. Yeah, man. Uh, he also found the coolant leaks. I was I was driving here on three coolant leaks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thankfully they're 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 helping me with all that stuff for getting all that situated. And by the time we get back, uh, we shouldn't have any major coolant leaks. We do have that air cooler again. We'll get that situated. But oh boy, the M4 is back, <laughs> bro. I missed this thing. It's only been like two days, and I missed this thing. Back in the engine bay. Woo! She sounds healthy, boys. This is the thing we got to replace. You never yep. know it got taken apart, right? Yeah, no, no it sounds you saw healthy. How, you saw how apart it was. <laughs> it was stripped, bro. Yeah, <laughs> well, that sounds healthy as it could be. She's purring for sure. Yeah. yeah man. Anything else you saw that was concerning, or the car is good? No, just the charger cooler. Um, charger cooler, yeah, okay. Yeah, which needs to be replaced. You said you have the BMS one coming in. Yeah, yeah, that one's coming in. And uh, other than that, no, the hose got replaced that we saw that was leaking. I think okay. the O-ring was bad, but it could have been plastic. You know, for a hundred bucks, you just swap the whole hose. You know, there's no yeah, 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 yeah. To risk a cooling leak on a car like this, especially considering you're driving, you know, six, yeah. Seven hours. <laughs> And guys, officially we are, at, we're, 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 we're not SSR anymore. We're officially back home um, from LA. And I just wanted to say this, a huge shout out to Shaw and everybody there for taking care of the M4. They found the two leaks on the car uh, with the coolant. They ended up fixing both of those. So you have absolutely zero leaks with coolant. And um, they found a hairline crack on our top radiator, that top air cooler radiator. So we're gonna be upgrading that as well. And then obviously we have the upgraded crank cup. So hopefully our engine should never go bad. This is just the maintenance piece, but it is very essential to make sure that your M4s are running solid. So it's something that had to get done. I'm happy I went out to LA to get that done. Without further ado guys, it has been a very long day, a very long couple of days actually. I'm gonna be calling it a night. The next video is a video I never ever ever thought I'll actually film and I filmed it actually yesterday according to this intro. I filmed it yesterday, it was very short. I never thought I'd actually have to film a video like that, but it's, it's, it's gonna be uploaded to YouTube um, in the next couple of days. I'm gonna try to get it the next day of this video or the day after, maybe in like two days. So a day, either tomorrow or in two days, I'll get out that video. It's, it's, it's actually a very serious video. It's only gonna be about two minutes long, but trust me, it's not something you guys wanna miss. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.